Hi guys, uh, so I'm waiting for someone and something crossed my mind that I thought I should share with you guys uh, just basically talk about it um, This came from one of my interactions with Galamukani and, and he said in life age must separate us There are some people who feel like they are failures because they are comparing themselves to people who've been around for a long time uh, some of us are competing with people who are way older than us and the reason they're successful is because hey, they've been around for a long time uh, sometimes you walk around your neighborhood or you I don't know drive around you see people building these big houses uh, but ask yourself how old are they number one yes some young people do build houses but for the greater part the majority how old are they you are 22 years old and you feel like you haven't made it in life because there's a man who's worked for government for 25 years and he just bought a big house in Chalala and you feel like your, your, your life is, you're running out of time, you are not as successful as you thought you would be. Age must separate us. I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm, I'm in television, okay? Uh, there are people who've been doing TV for a long time. I'll give you an example. Innocent Kalaluka has been doing television for a long time. For as long as I can remember, he's been on TV. I don't think I'll feel like a failure because I'm not as renowned as he is. No. He's been on television, I don't know, 20 years or so, if I'm not mistaken. So I know to say, look, at some point, I will have to garner so many years of experience for me to maybe be as good as he is. Okay? But the whole point of this video is that look at how old someone is and then look at how old you are. You are 25 years old and you feel bad because uh, some man you uh, interact with a lot uh, has bought this huge piece of land. But what you may not know is that he bought that land from money that he got from retirement. And you are 40, 50 years away from retirement and you feel like you are a failure because you haven't bought that much land. Maybe some man may have bought you know, uh, a car for his wife, maybe he bought his wife the latest Mercedes-Benz or the latest Fortuner and you feel like you are not that good of a husband because you can't buy your wife a car. Maybe that man's been married to his wife, what, 20 years? They're celebrating their 20th anniversary, they're at buying each other car levels and you are not there yet. Maybe you've been married four, five years. Again, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that just because you are young, you cannot be able to do all these big things at a young age. Yes, you can. And there are other young people who are doing it. But I want you to remember that you still have time. There's no need for you to panic, to beat yourself up, go into depression because you can't do certain things at your level. There will come a time when others will look up to you and say, look, he's done that. But they'll look up to you saying he's done that because you've amassed a lot of experience at whatever it is that you do. It, it, it also works for people who are in maybe a career or in the workplace. You find that this person was promoted or is at a senior level and you feel like you are not moving as fast as you should. Remember, this man is promoted, maybe he's got 10 years of experience at a job you only just got introduced to. Don't be in a rush to get everything happening for you at a particular time. Be patient, keep working hard, don't stop because that person who's enjoying those things at age 55 is still there because they never stopped. So if you tell yourself I'll stop because it's not working for me when you've only been in the business for two years or you've only been in that career for like, I don't know what, six months, one year, don't stop. But then again, don't tell yourself you can only achieve things at an older age. No, even when you're young, there's always room for exceptionalism. For every rule, there's an exception. For every person that made it at an older age, there's some young man that's making it at maybe 20 years younger. That person can be you. But if that person is not you, don't beat yourself too hard. Keep moving forward, keep learning, keep getting better. So my biggest takeaway from this video is don't beat yourself up too much comparing yourself to someone who's 10 years older than you or 20 years older than you. There are a lot of variables that made them successful. There are a lot of things that they know that you don't know. There are a lot of things they've been exposed to that you've not been exposed to. There are a lot of mistakes that they've made that you may never even know how to deal with at your age that's one thing i want you to remember there are certain things that they've been exposed to that they've gone through that you haven't yet gone through there are some things they've seen that you're yet to see so they've seen all these things they've been through all these things they've made all these mistakes and now they are in a position where success is easier for them than it is for you 
a grade 7 can never compete with a student at the University of Zambia. A student at the University of Zambia knows what hard work means. A boy in grade 7 barely knows what hard work is. So those two can never compete. Light, darkness, you know that saying, right? So yeah, but like I said again, every rule has an exception. What others achieve at 50, you can still achieve at 25. But if you don't achieve it, don't beat yourself too hard. If you don't achieve it, put yourself on a path to achievement and keep learning from those. Instead of feeling bad about people that are older than you making it in life, get close to them and desire to learn from them. It does you much good. Why? Because most people today who are old, and I'll, I'll be very honest with you, most people today who are in their 50s and 60s have had to make those journeys on their own. They've had to make those mistakes on their own. We are in a generation where you can easily access someone and say, hi, how did you do this? I'm trying to do this, I've been failing, I've made these mistakes, I tried to do this business, I ended up losing my money, or I was conned, or these are the challenges I faced. Be humble enough to learn from them. If you see any person who's successful or who's older than you making it big in life as competition, you are really blocking your progress. So be humble enough to go learn from those people. But then again, be daring enough to try it at whatever age it is. There is no book that creates a law for at what age someone must achieve what. Every person has equal opportunities at growth, at success, at making it big, at what. We've seen people who buy their wives bends at kitchen party. They are not even married two days, but it's already at that level. Others will have to work hard through the marriage and ultimately get that for them. But the whole point is, at whatever age others made it, you can make it 10 times less. At whatever age others made it, you can make it at either their age or way before they do. But like I said, don't get frustrated when things don't happen for you at a particular uh, age. The age must separate us. I cannot compete against people who have been in my career for 25 years. I cannot compete against people that have been doing business for 25 years. In that 25 years, a lot has happened that may not have happened for me. So just like I said, be humble enough, learn from them. And yeah, so the person I was waiting for has finally come, so I gotta go. Uh, but remember, download the standard chartered mobile app, that's SC Mobile, on your App Store or on your Play Store. Refer two friends, when you refer those two friends and uh, they put 100 kwacha in their accounts, standard chartered automatically gives you 100 kwacha. Isn't that exciting?